The hit series Jury Duty follows Ronald Gladden, a man who has no idea that he is part of an ultimate social experiment. All he knows is that he has been put on a jury for a case, and he doesn't know that everyone else, the other jurors, the judge, the lawyers, and litigants are all paid actors. That gets a little bizarre. Take a look. When I say jury of your peers, I think that's accurate. I mean, how long does this normally take if you've done this before? You. Juror number 54. Me? Ready, guys? Here we go. This is the most unorthodox trial that I've presided over. This is literally feels like reality TV. Oh. I love this trailer. It's so funny. Executive producer Nicholas Hatton is here to discuss the show. Welcome, Nicholas, and congrats. The show is Emmy nominated. Thank you so much for having me. It's an honor. It's an honor for the show as well. And uh, we're just uh, we're living a dream right now. Did you expect this level of success? Eight episodes in, first season, already an Emmy? Honestly, no. Uh, it was such a large undertaking in the first place that I think our main thoughts were, can we even pull this thing off? To have the audience respond in the way that they have, and then in turn to have the Television Academy recognize us in this way is just, uh, it's, uh, it's somewhat ridiculous and uh, <laughs> insane and dreamlike, but uh, it's the power of an idea catching on and uh, people falling in love with something and then telling their friends about it. It's a, it's a real word, uh, word of mouth hit. I will say it's really impressive that you were able to pull this off. This is a reality show unlike any other. So tell us about the execution. How did you figure out what you needed to do in order to pull this off? Well, it all starts with the prep work and it starts with the writer's room. And I have to say, I'm so proud that the show has been recognized in the Outstanding Comedy Series against, you know, some incredible other shows out there, which equally are written as well. And I always say it, it takes a fake village to build an entirely fake village. And we needed hundreds of incredibly talented crew, in astonishingly committed cast, uh, who all really bought into the idea of doing this thing and committed above and beyond anything they've ever been asked to do before. Well, everyone in the show is an actor except good old Ronald, of course, who doesn't realize the entire thing is scripted. How did you know you had your guy when you came across him? Was there, what was his quote unquote audition? Well, there's a, a very long process where we had over 4,000 candidates apply to potentially be jurors or at least be part of a jury pool in Southern California. And what we were looking for was someone who we really felt that an audience could root for, could really get behind and emotionally invest in and be with Ronald on his journey. And truthfully, Within two days, we all fell in love with him. Our mm -hmm. cast fell in love with him. And you really see that love only increase as the show goes on. The show is so entertaining. So were there any close calls when it came to keeping Ronald in the dark? What were some of the challenges that you ran into? I mean, a, a thousand close calls because the reality is we had to construct a journey for him where we would want him to turn left rather than right, but we had to keep both options available to him. So he always felt like he was in a real world. Um, numerous times when we had the chair pants, uh, which is uh, an invention, one of the characters uh, essentially strapped some crutches to their buttocks so that they could sit anywhere they needed. That was a bit of a, a tricky one for Ronald to accept the reality of. <laughs> But it was such a robust world that was built for him and the cast really carried him along this journey. At any moment, the danger was there that there was an element that we hadn't thought of. So there was a genuine sense of tension throughout the run of trying to get through to the end of this thing. And it's unlike anything else we've ever done. Can you talk about the camera placement? How were you able to record all of this, all of his interactions in and out of the courtroom and not have him notice it? So Ronald was under the belief that he was part of a documentary style project. He thought there was a very low budget, sort of publicly funded uh, documentary being made essentially about the legal system in Southern California. So he was aware that there would be cameras there. What he wasn't aware of was the scale of the machinery around him and the fact that he was obviously the sole focus of this show. So the discussions were on a day by day basis and a scene by scene basis. Is it okay for him to know that cameras are here right now? Well, job well done, because that is not easy. It, it, it does seem very seamless. So let's talk about a possible second season. Is there any chance that you would do something like this again with a, with a different situation, different character? I think 
listen, right now I'll say this, that obviously we're in an enormous unprecedented moment in terms of uh, labor action between the writer's strike and the actor's strike. So we respect that tremendously. And, and you know, obviously no work is going on right now out of solidarity with that movement. Um, but I will say that, you know, if, if this was to be done again, we would only want to do it if we felt that like we did with Ronald, but um, that's a thought for another day. Right now, we're just still enjoying the um, the crazy reaction there's been to the first season. Well, we certainly hope to have you back to to talk about it if there if there is another sec another season. Nicholas, thank you so much and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. You can stream Jury Duty on Prime Video. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.